Hey everybody. It's Sunday, August 26th. I only know that because I've already looked at the phone and it's already after lunch. We're at the Bass Pro Shop getting a couple of air mattresses to sleep on during the moving process while everything else is packed. But I love the Bass Pro Shop, which is, there's no explaining it because I don't hunt or fish or camp. I don't enjoy any of those, but I love the Bass Pro Shop. I find it uniquely fascinating. I Go figure, I don't know. Anyway, we're walking around getting some steps in, killing a little time while we can. That's all for now. We'll be back. Alright, hey guys. So, first of all, my car smells like french fries. <laughs> we after we were um, done at Bass Pro, it wasn't quite time to pick up my husband's car, so we stopped to um, have lunch at the restaurant that's connected to the Bass Pro shop, Uncle Buck's, and we had leftovers, so yeah, the car smells like french fries. Anyway, as you just saw, that is my husband's little Mitsubishi 3000 GT, and it's now all nice and bright and shiny, and looks great. First. What was it? First place auto detailing or whatever the name is. I filmed it for you all. I'll put the contact information if I can find it in the description below. Um, he did a really great job and he was actually very reasonable. So um, he is here in San Jose, actually in Campbell. So I will try to find his contact info and put it in the description below. And we are going to head home now because Typically, the husband is working today, so we need to get back to the house so he can get to his laptop. So, there's that. Alright, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, August 27th. I only We're know all that... set. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Jeeves. I only know that because I already screwed up one video clip and had to refilm, so I thought I'd check the calendar. Uh, anyway, I've been on and off the phone already this morning with different people regarding moving and that's been fun. Not. I have other stuff I need to do in that In car. 400 feet, turn right on to Muscat Drive. I haven't got Then turn yet. right. Really? Anyway, um, I need to go get my car serviced first. So before we drive it all the way up to Oregon, which is going to take about, take about 10 or 11 hours. Um, I need to um, get it serviced first, so I'm going to do that this morning. <sighs> While I'm waiting for phone calls. So we are going to leave and go do that. And I do have mail to drop off and stuff like that, but I don't know how long the car is going to take. I turn know. right on to Muscat Drive. Then turn right onto a vineyard drive. I don't know if I'm going to have to leave it there um, or anything. So I'm going to wait to do that other stuff until I get my car back. It's going to be a long day. The husband is working still his crazy shift. And he has a Masonic meeting after work. And neither one of us is getting... Any turn right onto a vineyard drive. Neither one of us is eating well, FYI, just because, you know, yeah, everything. So, um, so yeah, so he won't be home until late and, um, when he does get home, he's just going to crash. So I'm going to try to take care of it. In one mile, can. keep left on to state route 85 North. So he doesn't have to worry about it. So anyway, um, all right, that's it right now. I will be back. I'm going to head over to Capital Subaru and get my car worked on. I'll be back. One thirty-nine on Monday. I'm not home yet. Well, I shouldn't say that. I was home and then I left again. I stayed at the dealership for about two and a half hours because they said, oh, we can just do it while you wait. Yeah. I turned it into two and a half hours. Anyway, they got the car all road trip worthy, so we're good to go in that respect. Change the oil check the brake fluid actually changed the brake fluid because it was pretty bad which is why I had to wait extra because they 
figured that out and also there's an interior air filter that was really bad I don't know that that's ever been changed my car's a 2011 and he said it was really dirty I have asthma we changed the air filter um, now I'm out running errands like picking up a few groceries I had to return something to Lowe's I've got to go stop and get the mail I'm gonna have to relent and set up a Google Calendar for moving because I have a lot of different people helping me and they're all like, wait, when is this happening? Wait, when is that happening? And I personally prefer calendars on paper. I actually do not prefer online calendars unless you're working with a group of people. And in that case, being able to direct them to an online calendar is supremely helpful. And I'm going to include not only times and names and dates of when things are happening and who's doing them, but I'm going to include contact information so and account numbers if I have them. So yeah, I'm going to have to sit and do that today. That's going to have to be a thing. I try to do one chore regarding the move every day right now and or pack one box or clean out one cabinet or something every day and so that's gonna be one of my things that I have to do today I think <sighs> anyway I'm also starving I haven't eaten lunch yet it is after lunch it's almost two o'clock so I'm going to um, go get the mail I've got a mail uh, check to our daughter and I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna fix myself some lunch and I guess while I'm eating lunch, I'm gonna be on the computer setting up a Google Calendar for the move. So anyway, all right, that's it, I'll be back. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, August 28th. Um, I sort of know that. I'm pretty sure it's the 28th. I should know better because it's already 12.04 in the afternoon and I've already been doing a lot of stuff and yeah, well anyway, you get the idea. So I already got some more packing done, I got some more cleaning done, got a couple things off of closet walls that I think I want to take with us and not leave and stuff like that. I'm headed out. I need some more of the shrink plastic wrap moving stuff those of you who've moved know what i mean it looks like it looks like plastic wrap you use in the kitchen only it's not intended for use with food it's you wrap boxes and other items in it to protect them when you're moving them and yeah that's i need more of that <laughs> oh another neighbor's moving there's a u-haul truck in somebody's driveway uh anyway um so I need to go get some more because I'm out. And yeah, so anyway, I made added some notes to the Etsy shop. So for those of you watching, you can still order stamps and stencils and things like that, copies of my book, all that stuff from the Etsy shop. But from the 1st until about the 9th, I won't be able to ship anything. Um, so the the merchant the inventory will be with me on the U-Haul truck. It's not going with the moving truck. But I will be in the physical process of moving state. So I won't be able to get it set up to a point that I can pack and ship anything um, until the weekend before the 10th. So I put a note in there and anything ordered from the 1st um, on won't ship until the 10th of September. So if you're okay with the shipping delay, cool. Um, as you watch this, there is last week a Shannon Green collab video with my design team that just came out on the 30th of August. Um, it's coming out in a couple of days from now, but you all, as you see this, will have already seen that. Um, and I'm going to try to get this edited before I unplug my computer, so you're only going to see until Friday. Anyway, 
Um, when you see this, you'll already have seen um, the collab video or it will already be public and there's a discount code in the collab video. So use that and um, if I remember to, I'll put it in the description below the vi this video, but if I forget, go see the collab video um, for part three. And um, there's a code in the description for both my store and Shannon's. And um, yeah, but and you can go ahead and order whatever you'd like and I will just ship it on the 10th for you. So I hope you're okay with that. So anyway, I'm gonna go pick up a couple of things. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm kind of hungry, but I did manage to get a couple more boxes packed, some more things cleaned up and moved around for the movers to make think the process easier. I'm picking up the shrink wrap and, and um, I got myself dressed, I got laundry started. That's like, you don't even know, that's like a big thing. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I am good and I think that's it for the day. Today is the last day that my husband's gonna be working in the Fremont office for his company until after we move and then he's gonna be working remotely going forward. So that'll be fun. I think <laughs> in the years we've known each other he's never been home much he always has been uh, working a lot of hours I hesitate to use the term workaholic because I think that has negative connotations my husband enjoys the community of being in, uh, at work and he likes what he does mostly so um, he enjoys working and it keeps him as um, my dad would say, busy and out of trouble. So I'm good with that. But he'll be working from home more. He will be occasionally probably going into the Oregon office, but um, he will be working from home more. So I look forward to that. And during the transition process, he will be working remotely. The internet should be hooked up by the time we get there with the U-Haul truck. So it'll be all good. One of my last trips down this crazy back road to Lowe's and Target, so. <sighs> anyway, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna be back later and I have to get my website ready for updates on Friday. I need to build the pages so I can just hit publish, which would be handy. And the Etsy store is as ready as it can be until Friday and I need to probably add some things to my to-do list or I'm gonna forget something. <laughs> Cause that's where my state of mind is right now. All right, that's it. I'll be back. You know, I should feel, feel happy today. It only took me three times of trying to back up out of my parking space for somebody to actually let me and not drive behind my car. <laughs> is it still a full moon? And excuse me anyway. <clears throat> We are going to go home now because I can't stand people anymore today. We're going to stop and get the mail first and then go home. Hopefully it's ready. <sighs> yeah, I really don't like people that much. <laughs> At least some days. Do you all feel that way or is it just me? <laughs> some days I just want to sit in my art room and close the door only right now I can't really do that so I am looking forward to getting this move over with so that I can do exactly that anyway all right I'll be back hey everybody it is Wednesday August 29th it is 2 12 p.m. which is why I know what the date is <laughs> because it's already been a, quite a day. Uh, my husband is off now until after we move. He has been home most of the day helping me get some more packing done and cleaning, sorting, throwing things away, that sort of thing. He had a couple errands to run in the morning, which he's done already. And he's just sitting on the couch now taking a break. We had some lunch that sort of thing. I am headed to go get the mail. And then I've got a, a few boxes to just pack and seal and move out of the way. Oh, excuse me. 
Ugh, I'm not really sleeping very well. I probably won't be sleeping very well until this is all over with. But anyway, um, I said last week I have, um, I'm working on some new merch and I shared pictures with you all last week. If you've forgotten or you didn't see that vlog, um, I'll put some pictures here somewhere. The two sample shirts should be here actually tomorrow. So when they come in, I will film opening them. And I ordered a couple more things uh, that I need from Amazon before we move or want. And then that's it as far as ordering stuff and having it delivered to San Jose the next time I order anything it'll be delivered to the new house so that's kind of weird and surreal over the weekend we have a family wedding and my husband's gonna fly down to Southern California for that while he's gone I'm gonna do some things like um, make bank deposits and to the change of address on the mailbox and stuff like that so even though we're having movers come in and do the bulk of the packing and moving there's still a lot to do and those of you who have moved before know this even if you have the bulk of your stuff go with a moving company there's still a lot to do so yeah Being able to get to my art supplies is not helping me right now, but I there's not much I can do about it. So. All right, let's see what's at the mailbox. If we can, it's a tight, tight squeeze in the parking lot. All right, let's see what's there. I'll be right back. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday morning. August 30th. Um, it is just after 11 o'clock and um, we are going to continue to do some more packing today and cleaning, purging and um, we have a going away party tonight with my husband's Masonic Lodge so that'll be interesting. I'll film what I can when I can. Um, other than that I think we're just chilling before the big stressful move. So I don't think there's a lot going on but I'll film what I can. All right, I'll be back. All right, so after a flurry of morning phone calls that I didn't expect <laughs> regarding the house that we own in California that we are putting up on the market, um, I was, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, interest is already there, is what I can say. So I called a neighbor who used to live next door and they are renting their property out now and I called to um, discuss their property with them because the tenants aren't really keeping it up. So anyway, I went to do that and um, I forgot that the wife is a realtor. Um, completely forgot um, that she's a realtor. And um, I'm just testing the cruise control. I don't know how to use a cruise control. I'm going to be driving my car to Oregon. I think I better figure it out. Anyway, I might need to drive around the neighborhood. Anyway, I forgot that she's a realtor and she was asking, uh, I told her we were moving. That was, you know, one of the reasons I was, I meant to call before, but now that we're moving, I was wondering if there was anything they could do about their gardeners just really not doing a good job. And I didn't know if there was anything they could do about, you know, getting them to clean up the property. Um, and um, we discussed that and she, then she asked me about selling our house and what we were asking and what we were thinking and um, I said, well, you know, this is what we want and we would like to sell quickly and while we're trying to sell it as is, you know, we are willing to negotiate and um, turns out she might have a client that might want to look at the house. <laughs> I said, well, that's fine. They just need to remember that right now it looks like we're living in a storage unit and um, you know, the outside looks great, but the inside's full of boxes and stuff. But, you know, if they want to look at it, they're more than welcome. So, um, I gave her our realtor's name and number. So, cross your fingers, people. Holy cow. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, that's a thing. So, the merch samples are in. I got notification via, um, email 
so I am headed to go pick them, pick them up and whatever other mail is ready and then um, I'm gonna go home and have lunch so I will share them with you when I can I'll I figured out the cruise control and what I was doing wrong all these years you don't know how great that is it's gonna be wonderful on the drive to Oregon all right, that's it. I'm going to go get the mail now. I'll be back. We got the two sample shirts in. Now, this initial batch of shirts, these two samples I ordered from Vistaprint. Um, it was quick and easy, and they have a lot of options for um, getting things um, printed onto clothing. Uh, more than you would think, and they're not super expensive. But if you guys like them, we will be carrying them. And, um, yeah, so here's the first one. Now, these are double XL because I don't like to wear my shirts tight I like things to be on the loose side and uh, yeah so here's the don't be an asshole shirt and this is not an iron-on this is like printed on with ink and then here's the other one and these are just on white shirts I'm sure at some point we could get them on colored shirts we are thinking about um, going through a different uh, vendor to get some printed on aprons uh, my friends from Intervals of Sanity are helping me out with this, so really love them. If it's something you guys might be interested in getting printed on um, clothing or pencil bags or coffee cups or something, let me know. Um, I would probably not get a lot of inventory, but like do something like um, have it listed in my Etsy shop and then have it drop shipped to you from the supplier who's doing the printing something like that so anyway if you're if you'd be interested in in this let me know leave a comment below all right that's it for the moment i'll be back Good morning everybody. It is Friday morning, August 31st. And as of this morning, we officially own two houses. Yeah, everything was recorded and funded and it's, yeah, it's a done deal. The keys are available um, the morning of the 4th and uh, the realtor is gonna pick them up for us and hand them over to my dad who lives up there. <sighs> yeah, so anyway. Wow. Um, <laughs> we've been spending the morning doing change of addresses and all of that stuff. We have um, some plastic bins in the garage. We have to wrap with plastic wrap or tape the lids down. Um, before. Uh, probably that's going to happen as the movers are packing up the rest of the house. I'm not sure that's going to happen today. Um, my husband's got some clothes and toiletries and stuff to pack and um, otherwise, I think we're good to go except for last minute stuff that needs to be shoved in a box. So anyway, we have a few errands to run like canceling gym memberships and stuff like that we're going to do after lunch and yeah. Bright, nice, sunny day here in California and uh, no smoke or anything for a change. So yeah, we'll see what happens and I'll bring you along. I'll be back. So I got one last Amazon haul here to the San Jose house before we move. I got one small bottle of uh, this, Ignatia Amara. It is for stress. It is um, I don't know what's in it. I can't really read the writing on there. Anyway, um it was it's a sort of a homeopathic remedy for stress and anxiety and it was recommended by my sister 
and um, I trust her in this. She knows more about it than I do, and um, she's um, recommended I try this before I try the lorazepam, so I thought I need to have that just in case, so I got that today. It wasn't too expensive, and I had to get this. I really don't need it, but focus. There we go. So these are the Paul Rubens metallic watercolors. Everybody's been doing and awing about since Patty Tolly Paris showed them on her channel. They have to be some of the most beautifully packaged watercolor paints I've ever seen, and I have a fair decent collection of them. I love the pink um, um, metallic box, and it comes with a chamois wrapped in a chamois, just like this. It, I'm telling you, it's the most, and the box is not a cheap, flimsy box. It's a heavy box. And neither is the metal um, box that it's in a cheap, flimsy box. It seems like a nice, weight, heavy box with the uh, required pamphlets in it. And look at all of these metallic colors. This is a metallic set, so all of these are metallic. I can't wait to try them. I literally just got it in. So you may be seeing that in the next vlog or the week after that. Next week we're moving and this is going to be the last um, day on this vlog until after the move. I know I usually do till Saturday, but this week we're you're only getting no Friday. <laughs> and um, that's it for right now. I hope that you all are having a great day and a great week. Bear with me through the move. I won't have any computer or anything plugged in until after we get there, which is around the 10th. And then I'll be back up and online, hopefully. And uh, yeah, quite an adventure. If you're interested in either one of these things, I don't, again, I don't know anything about this except my sister said get some and try it. That's literally all I know. Um, I'll put the links for both of them in the, in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>